Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at cleaning and optimizing your design for a production ready export. Now, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for alerts to new and upcoming videos. In this design, we have two artboards that we're going to demonstrate. One is clean, and one is a little bit dusty, so we're going to clean the dust off of it. Now, what we're going to do is export as is, and we're going to test them both. And we're going to take a look at the assets as well as the visual output to see how we can correct these. So the first thing we're going to do is we're not going to change any options yet. We're just going to export as is. I actually should have exported them individually. But simply because we're looking at both just as is. This is the clean. And this is the dusty. You'll see immediately the dusty did not render how we expected, although within XD, you'll see that visually this is how it looks. So because there's additional content, you'll see in clean, uh, in essence, we don't see any additional content outside of the artboard. Uh, but with Dusty, there's a lot of additional content. Now, taking a look at the layers, we can see that we have a masked element, which will visually render this, but there is additional layers also so these will all be exported let's see first how we can get this to look visually uh, the same as clean and what we can do very quickly is for this particular artboard we can simply disable overflow and what this will do is prevent elements from uh, basically bleeding outside of the artboard area so let's go ahead and export now you'll see now that Dusty, uh, in essence, exported the very same as Clean. Now the assets will still remain. We will still have all the skins. This is what I can do. Let's actually just compress this. Let's compress this. Now you'll see that the Clean version is only 36 kilobytes, while the Dusty is 294. Now for a single artboard, this is not that dramatic, but if you have 100 plus artboards with many assets, this can be extremely cumbersome. So we're going to see how we can actually modify these assets to be exactly what we're looking for in the output. So although visually we did get Dusty to look the same as our clean version, we don't want to disable overflow just as yet. Because we used a mask within the actual contents of XD, what it did was it rendered an image for that mask. Now, I did say that other content will render as well, and this is because this is all within the actual content itself. You'll see that they're all being listed. So we'll see here we have content, and content seems to contain all of the assets. This is why they were rendered in the output. Although top itself, this has many elements, this was actually rendered only as an image and this is because we had a mask now what should have happened is content had a mask as well uh, for certain elements so that these are not rendered because we don't require these uh, so the best thing to do is simply to remove them now you'll see that our assets are basically only what is required for this artboard now there are additional steps that we could take for instance each of these shapes they seem to be a little bit too wide let's just shrink them each the next step we want to do is with our top content, we're going to, in essence, ungroup the mask. This will now turn this into elements that will render individually. Now, to, in essence, show the elements that we require, you can simply just move the background image. Now, you will see there is content that does overflow. And again, if it's not required, this seems to be something that will scroll. This is, looks like a developer would deal with this, not so much a designer. Let's remove the content. Now we have virtually all the individual assets that we require, and our Dusty looks very similar to our Clean. So let's go ahead and let's export Dusty. Take a look. This is even less than our original. Now you'll see that we have the output that we expected from Dusty looking quite perfectly. And rather than a single image, we have all the individual elements that we expected.